A large-scale military exercise, known as Yellow Guardian, is currently underway, bringing together 600 soldiers and 180 vehicles from Belgium, France, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg. Organized by the Belgian Battalion of Chasseurs à Cheval, the exercise, which runs from November 20th to 29th, spans the area between Neufchâteau and Elsenborn. Its primary goal is to improve the interoperability of reconnaissance, intelligence, and electronic warfare units, while refining tactical and logistical operations among the participating nations. The exercise is divided into three main phases, beginning with a two-day infiltration maneuver. During this phase, multiple squadrons are conducting reconnaissance missions from Neufchâteau, heading northeast toward the Elsenborn camp. These maneuvers are essential for intelligence gathering, and the first phase will conclude on November 25th, transitioning into simulated counteroffensive scenarios involving fictional enemy forces. As part of this phase, a variety of advanced military equipment is being deployed to reflect the nation's expertise in reconnaissance and intelligence operations. Among the key vehicles involved are the Belgian Pander, French Panhard VBL PVR, and the Dutch Fennec Armored Reconnaissance Vehicle, all of which are designed for high-mobility surveillance and intelligence collection. The Belgian Pander is a wheeled armored vehicle known for its versatility in troop transport, reconnaissance, and fire support. Equipped with a 20mm or 30mm cannon and additional machine guns, the Pander offers enhanced protection against small arms fire and mines while providing excellent off-road mobility. Another important Belgian contribution is the Falcon Light Multirole Vehicle, LMV, a modern platform designed for reconnaissance, patrol, and logistical support. The Falcon LMV features modular protection, allowing it to withstand threats such as IEDs and small arms fire. It can be armed with a remotely operated weapon station, making it highly adaptable for various tactical scenarios. The French Panhard VBL PVR is a light armored vehicle designed for rapid reconnaissance and patrol missions. It is agile, discreet, and equipped with versatile weapon systems, including machine guns and anti-tank missiles. Meanwhile, the Dutch Fennec vehicle is equipped with long-range observation systems and advanced communication tools, making it ideal for surveillance, intelligence gathering, and target designation. In addition to these ground vehicles, drones such as the Reader Skyer and FB drones are playing a crucial role in enhancing intelligence capabilities. Equipped with optical and infrared sensors, these unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, provide real-time data transmission, allowing for comprehensive surveillance and reconnaissance. The Battalion of Chasseurs à Cheval, also known as ISTER Intelligence, Surveillance, Target Acquisition and Reconnaissance, is at the core of the operation. Led by Lt. Col. Jean-François Verhust, the unit is tasked with gathering and analyzing data, monitoring strategic points, and transmitting actionable intelligence to support fire units like artillery and air forces. French units, including the 2nd Hussar Regiment, the 54th Transmission Regiment, the 1st Spahi Regiment, and the 61st Artillery Regiment, are contributing specialized knowledge and expertise to the exercise. Together with Belgian, Dutch, and Luxembourg units, they aim to optimize coordination and operational efficiency. The onset of snowfall during the exercise adds complexity, testing the soldier's ability to adapt to a winter environment and perform under challenging conditions. The Yellow Guardian exercise highlights the growing commitment of European armed forces to strengthen cooperation and enhance interoperability in key defense areas such as reconnaissance, intelligence, and logistics. By testing the capabilities of participating nations and encouraging knowledge exchange, this exercise fosters closer ties between military units across Europe. It also prepares the soldiers to tackle modern defense challenges through improved tactical and logistical coordination. With 600 soldiers, 180 vehicles, and a wide array of specialized equipment, Yellow Guardian serves as a reminder of the vital importance of multinational military exercises in maintaining the security and stability of Europe. The operation demonstrates how collaborative efforts are essential in preparing for the defense challenges of the future.